Hey guys, it's Fonsky here, and today we're back in Elite Dangerous, and I'm going to play around with something a little bit different. So, some of you guys might have seen a video that I made a while back, which was basically landing and walking around on an asteroid in Star Citizen. So I thought I'd see what I can do about that today in Elite. So I'm in LP-98-132, I think that's the system. It's the one with Freeport Station in it. And I'm just heading to this uh, resource extraction site, which I'm pretty close to. There we go. Because I know there's a bunch of asteroids around here, as you can see. And I'm just going to try and land on one of these. So it's not going to be able to land properly. Like It's not going to lock in place or anything like that. And I won't actually be able to see what it looks like when the ship's landed. Because uh, there's no third person view in this game. So I guess I'd need to be... Um, I guess I'd need to be with somebody else to actually see what it looked like. But, you know, let's do what we can anyway. So I'm using the lake on type 6. Uh, mostly because it's cheap enough to replace it if it dies with the insurance and everything, and um, I couldn't be bothered changing out of it. <laughs> Not the best reasoning probably, but I also like the fact that it's got these windows down uh, underneath the instruments, so you can kind of see what's going on beneath the ship. So that's the proximity warning going off there, and I can actually get pretty close and bump into these without issue, as you see just then. It damages the shields a little bit, but nothing more. So let's try and find a good landing spot on this asteroid. Problem with asteroids being they're not exactly uniform shapes or anything like that. And this is a kind of large ship, I guess. Not as big as some of the ships. So I'm just kind of cruising around this one at the moment. I'm actually using my uh, lateral thrusters up and down and everything. I can't think of the right word for them. But that makes it really easy to control flying around this thing. So this this looks like a reasonable spot here actually. Let's... I think this asteroid is actually drifting a little bit as well. Yeah, it's kind of moving around beneath this a little bit. So the alarm is annoying. But you can see you can actually touch down and make contact with the ground and everything like that. I wish there was a way to turn that alarm off. That's kind of irritating. Alright. So the problem with this asteroid moving, and with the ship not locking into place, is that it just keeps drifting away underneath you. Presumably... Okay, that's, that noise is really irritating. Presumably in the future, there will be um, a way to lock down onto inanimate objects or something, like asteroids. Uh, let's move over to this one. It looks like it's not moving. Yeah, presumably you'll be able to just lock the landing gear in place at some point in the future. Obviously you can't do that right now. But, um, I mean, this this is probably how mining will work or something, or... I haven't looked into that, so I might be talking out of my ass. But, um, I can imagine this would be a way you would mine, basically. Like, you'd get an asteroid-rich, or a mineral-rich asteroid or something, and, um... You know, you just land on it. And do your thing. So let me... I actually got myself in a kind of bad position there. Let me, um, I want to land on it right over here. And do some low speed maneuvers, which is always a little bit strange in Elite. So what I'm going to do now, I'll actually go straight down to the ground without deploying the landing gear. And then I'll deploy the gear. So you can see that the landing gear has an effect. So that's, that's right down on the ground. So let me deploy the gear. You see it actually popped the ship up. But I mean, there you go, that's that's basically landed on an asteroid. Uh, I just wish I could see what it looked like from the outside. See, that's pretty cool. So I mean, I guess, I guess one thing you have to be kind of aware of in at least this specific system is there are some AI ships flying around and stuff as well. I guess they could try to pirate you. <laughs> but that's all part of it, I guess. So yeah, pretty cool. I mean, this, and like I was saying, this, I can see this being used for some sort of mining system like you know, you land on the asteroid, you get out of the ship, you uh, set up some mining equipment or something like that. I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of potential there for that sort of thing. There's actually a ship flying really close to me right now. I wonder if the AI is going to jump me. Eh, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, well, anyway, 
so that, this is just a little idea that I had after um, I went back and had a look at my Star Citizen video about the same thing. So it's pretty cool being able to do this, I think, even if I can't actually get out of the ship just yet in Elite. So yeah, I think I'll leave this here. So uh, as always, I've been Vosco. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.